Hallo, ik ben Anna en uh, welkom to my channel. So I just introduced myself in German. Yeah, I've been having this really weird obsession with my heritage lately. And um, most of me is pretty German, so uh, I've really been diving deep into my German heritage. My dad's mom is English. She is a World War II war bride. And my grandpa's side of the family is very German. Uh, they came over somewhere between the 1860s and the turn of the century. And that is the same for my mom's side of the family. Uh, her family is predominantly German. And then there's a little bit of Dutch thrown in there. And maybe we have a little bit of French in there. We grew up with like, tea was super common in our house. Recently, I've just kind of really uh, been exploring it. So I started learning German. German is the easiest language I've ever tried to learn. And I have, I did Spanish in high school and I did not do good at it. And I struggled with French when I tried to learn it. And I struggled with Japanese when I tried to learn it. And German makes sense. Granted, English is a Germanic language with a lot of Latin thrown in. Uh, I've been chatting with my dad and my aunts about like, where where in Germany was our family from, if we knew. So like, I've been learning about that. And then on top of that, I've recently been getting into historical costuming again. The Ren Faire <sighs> surprise is happening. I think it's a terrible idea, but the Bay Area Ren Fest is happening. It's not happening where it normally does. It has a new location because its old location was like, nah, we're not doing that this year. And I was like, that's really smart. <sighs> and I wouldn't be going but my boyfriend works for one of the vendors and our one day a week where we usually get to see each other, he will now be working at the Ren Fair. So for like a month and a half, if I want to see him, I basically have to go to the Ren Fair. <laughs> at least I'll be vaccinated, <sighs> vaccinated, words are hard, but like I find much more comfort knowing I'm gonna have some protection. On top of that, I will of course be wearing my mask. I'm gonna have hand sanitizer in my bag. I'm gonna be cautious. I'm gonna try to keep my distance from people. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do everything I can. But like, I don't think I could survive. I've tried to do long distance before and it doesn't work. So like, I'm gonna go see my boyfriend. <laughs> So, in getting ready for the Ren Fair, yes, I have lots of fun pieces I can toss together. I have things from my LARP kit. I have, I have, I have tons of stuff, but because my brain has been consuming lots of historical costuming content recently on YouTube and TikTok, my brain decided we need to make a Kampfrau. I started doing some research and looking at like patterns for it and seeing how it was constructed and <sighs> we're making one. So I've been kind of sort of documenting it on TikTok. You very much got to see my frustration. I would like to scream and yes, I'm making popcorn in the background. I am trying to make a Kampfrau. This is a German piece of clothing from the 16th century. There are no darts or side seams on this thing. And I'm trying to understand how, as a very busty woman that I am with a tiny waist, how the hell do you do this without darts? I do, I do, darn. My brain isn't understanding it. I'm playing with the fabric. I'm trying to freaking drape it. And I just don't know. I don't know. I don't have a clue. Okay, so the 16th century, everything is very conical. Things aren't curvy. Curvy doesn't start happening until like the 19th century, the 1800s. We get to the Victorian times and suddenly corsets start curving. But you know, right now things are very conical and like a lot of them tend to be very V-shaped where like you want your shoulders to be the upside down triangle and then like your waist is the point. So like <laughs> V, V-shaped, there we go, and very conical. So like, 
being a very busty, curvy person that I am, my brain was struggling a lot with patterning it, so but with some help from my best friend from college, who literally is a costumer for a theater in Boston, and she does this kind of stuff for a living, she guided me and assisted me, and I finally got my pattern good, and I was happy with my mock-up, and so here we are. I have patterned the first piece, and now it's bedtime. And it'll probably be edited some more, but you know what, it's a start. Good night. After much struggle today, we have a front and back pattern piece, and Zeus wants to help. But uh, we're gonna now do this in scrap cotton and make a mock up. After very much editing and helping guidance from my best friend who does this for a living, uh, I now have front and back pieces that work. This is where we currently are with the mock-up. And uh, I'm sorry as I'm holding it shut, it'll be um, hook and eyes when it's done. And yeah, but I'm pretty happy with it. There's the shot of the back. I doubt it'll be ready by the beginning of the Renaissance Festival, but I will wear it sometime this season. So that's what we're doing this for, yay. My pattern pieces have been traced and cut out, and I sewed together the front piece. I am using linen because I live in Florida, and it's stupidly hot, 10 out of 12 months of the year. Traditionally, it's made out of wool, but I'm not going to die. Once sewn together, press your seams open and flat. We have the lining. We have the fashion fabric. Woo! There's my skirt. Currently hemming it. Progress! I am a horrible human being for not keeping you guys up to date with my progress. But my comfrau is almost done. The only thing that I have left to do, excuse my unmade bed, is put the second sleeve on. Because this one, that one's all done. I just have to do this one. And she's done. But she looks so good. I'm so proud of her. I could never be a historical costume YouTuber, guys. I am terrible at filming my progress. But she's finished. And I don't think I've ever been more proud of something I've ever made in my life. Like, yes. Anyway, I hope you like the hodgepodge journey that I've provided. And thank you guys for watching. If you like this, click like and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next adventure, whatever that's going to be, who knows. But have a great day. Bye.